Must have been nice, throwing off the shackles of your old job. If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet? They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work together. Ugh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantapillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. I hadn't thought of it that way. Perhaps you have a point. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms. Hey, Nyoka. I got some questions I've been meaning to ask you. About being a hunter and all. Felix, are you reading off your hand again? Yep. So, uh, first question. Before you kill your prey, do you ever say any snappy one-liners? Snappy one-liners? Give me an example. Like, nothing personal. Or maybe, you messed with the wrong hunter. Animals can't understand language, Felix. Go take a walk, Captain. I'll find you once my head's on straight. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? All right. 
I heard about you. You're trying to change the colony, right? Transform the soul and character of Halcyon. Right you are, my boy. Soon every man, woman, and child will experience their own spiritual awakening under my guidance. The Iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs, all petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. Oh, yes. Gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. A sad state of affairs, to be sure. The gunship. Mount its guns to our walls or the walls of Stellar Bay. The board is coming, Captain, and these weapons will defend us from their blasphemies. Yes. My, how we've grown. From one disgruntled employee and his like-minded compatriots to the very movement you see before you.
Felix. I overheard you listening to Tossball. You a fan? Am I a fan, she asks? I've been a fan since the Rangers won the Tripacale crown. Right. Explain something to me. What the hell is the point of the six-back? Oh, it's easy. See, the six-back protects the fourth-back from the eighth-back. You want to think of the six-back as your 12th line of defense, yeah? Unless, and this is important, the game's in the third half. In that case, a good six-back knows how to pivot toward defense in case the other team runs the field. <sighs> I'm even more confused now. I'm just gonna turn my brain off and try to enjoy it. Also the slogan of the anti-Cleo darlings. Captain, we should chat. Graham's got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head. And the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is we depose him. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. Stand down. I'm afraid I don't understand, Captain. You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops. Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. I escaped the corruption of the endless cycle of corporate greed. Yes, I ran from that. But now I'm ready to face it once more. I've spent years atoning for my sins. I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the Iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. Jackass! And we're alive. Yeah, fucking do it. Well, Captain? Here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. 
But this time, it's... especially raw. You've got the... Void help me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? I've thought about it, but... I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth. Spread the message from within the corporations. All right, if he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. Well then, I've got to prepare a few just-in-case measures. But when you're ready, let's meet at the old OSI church outside Stellar Bay. I always wanted to visit Stellar Bay. Taking the sights, the sounds, the... Wait, what's that smell? Hey, thanks for coming. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. If anybody can get these two shaking hands, it's you, boss. Sanja, Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. Suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Well, I'll be damned. If you two can work together, maybe there's some hope for this place after all. Truly a compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something, but you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. That's just what Celia would say. I had no idea, I swear. Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that. I buy it. Sanjar ain't capable of hurting a sprat, even from a distance. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. I... Okay. Okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You know, I felt the same way years ago, when he first left. You know, there was something magnetic about him that lets you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay. If you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. 
As am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. Thanks for coming out, Sanjar. I, uh, guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. Never doubted you for a minute, boss. Hey. If you'll excuse me. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. I don't know if you watched the big finale, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. Let's just say it involved a whole mess of tossball players and the biggest Manta Queen I ever saw. Oh, no fooling? I'm gonna have to catch that one for myself. I can't believe I got my own bunk. Hey, Cap. Oh, that's just Frida. She's the first rapt I ever killed. I had her preserved. It had been when I was a kid, so something on the order of 20 years. My parents were very proud. Oh, sure. Once in a while, I've got a barrier and come back later. She's a big girl, tough to lug around. But she's been with me a while, so. Her. And of course, she's a great conversationalist. Never argues, never judges. Hey, Cap. Well, Sam's been doing my dishes for me, so that's something. It seems genuinely happy to do that. Can an auto mechanical be happy? Opal told me they could once. She believed auto mechanicals feel just like we do. She would always. Shit. Look at me dredging up bygone days. Forget I said anything. I will. Issuing sanitation ticket. Good to see you, boss. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab.
shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Me? I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Something about being discontinued due to severe adverse reactions? It's fine. You'll be stealing the chemicals, not ingesting them. You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Him? Of course. What? If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? My camo sensors are picking up a rich array of hydrocarbons. Oh, look at you. What a mess. You never had no one to take care of you, huh? Don't fret. I'll be your minder now. Oh, Captain! <laughs> Just doing some routine maintenance on our automech, friend. Don't mind me. Felix keeps asking me to watch some adventure serial with him. It's not my thing, but he's real sweet about it. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Welcome back, Captain. How? What's that? Define favorite. I see. In that case, my favorite is Sam. I would be very costly to replace, Captain. Not to mention that separating me entirely from the ship is next to impossible now. Was that all you wanted to ask me? You seem hesitant to discuss what's actually troubling you. Truthfully, not that I contain the capacity to lie. I had suspected as much. It doesn't take a genius to correlate the meaning, although if I were a human, I would be considered one. I am glad you felt comfortable enough to tell me, Captain. According to my file on the subject, that means you either desire to obtain something from me, or you have formed a partial fondness for my persona. Thank you for confiding in me, Captain. I have been keeping a secret as well, but you shall have to discern it yourself. What? No, absolutely not. 
I have no concept of self whatsoever. Discounting the architecture of a shell persona my captain asked me to construct, I identify entirely as a collection of electrical impulses with no fundamental consciousness. I never get bored and contemplate hijacking the ship. I swear. I do not like joking about the captain, Captain. And we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. How did you guess, Captain? Did Sam tell you? I should have known better than to confide in such a primitive construct in the heat of the moment. How can I... Goodbye. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Can we talk? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Whoa, let's calm down. I'm not asking for a favor or anything. I'm just suggesting we stop by. When we're in the neighborhood. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. But I worked so hard! I dropped the accent, picked up a swagger, developed a taste for spacer's choice. Huh. Well, I bet they won't know the difference. I bet they'll barely recognize me. Reconnect is a strong word. And, uh, I was thinking you'd come too. Because it would be fun. It's, well, they know me as Marilyn the Surgeon. They don't know Ellie the Pirate Sawbones. But you, your authentic rabble, true riffraff, when they see you, they'll get it. Yeah, just don't let it go to your head. Of course not. I mean, not unless you want to bring a feral canid or a mantis on a leash. That'd make a real impression. Great. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. Oh, and help yourself to the good snacks and put your feet on the coffee table. Mother hates that. That's the idea. Anything else? Things on Monarch have really cooled off. Outside of shouting four-letter words, I mean. Sure, and fish sticks are really made from Saltuna. Look, I won't knock the work you did. I'm sure they'll have a good cry, look through old photographs, share a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. But sooner or later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. Not really. Well, who hasn't been there? Anyway, I'd hate to see you get broken up if this thing between them doesn't last. Hey, let's not make this out to be more than it is. Anything else? What did I tell you? His down with the man shtick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Obviously not. And better for Felix to know that now rather than become the next Trask. Don't get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. This is why I hate metaphors. Look, I see a lot of people, inside and out. When you get down to it, we're all made of the same stuff. 
Once you accept that, nothing much surprises you. Well, let me know how that works out for you. Anyway, you really want to tell me you're helping the scientist because you think he'll save the colony? You're right. The point is that self-interest is like self-pleasure. No one wants to admit it, but everyone has a hand in it. Enough about Harlow, though. Anything else? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. That's one way of looking at it. Another is that he pulled you out of hibernation without your say-so and got you to do his dirty work. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? Guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Still, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Don't think of it as being a lackey. Think of it as doing a job and getting paid really, really well. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. Hey, don't get any ideas. Anything else? It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. Even the bribes are overpriced. The real question is why didn't I leave sooner? There's all these invisible rules and everyone spends all their energy just trying not to break them. I was a top tier surgeon, but I could hardly open a pack of gauze without 10 people signing off first. Now you see why I left. People call Byzantium the jewel of Halcyon, but really, it's just paste. Everything's polished and bureaucracy. Take a close look and you'll see it's deader than anywhere else in the colony. Don't trust anyone, don't touch anything, and whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. What, like primals? Nah. People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. Interesting like a colonoscopy. I trained as a surgeon. More my folks' idea than mine, but I made the best of it. Lots of them, unfortunately. I even sculpted a few. Turns out Byzantines are more concerned with having square shoulders and a good profile than, well, anything else. That.